guys welcome to my channel this is Tint. today we will see uh, how to change a background okay like this one uh, using a javascript okay so let's get start okay and also how to change that contents of uh, this uh, box okay uh, make blue background make red background okay so let's get start just remove all of uh, that property okay just remove all the CSS mm, just remove all the JavaScript as well okay and uh, this is the div okay just remove as well okay just remove space okay so this is the blank uh, HTML file so we have to write some code it here just make a div okay div and give it id which is box 1 whatever you just want give it id and this is the box 1 okay and uh, width and height i want to width 300 pixel and height i want to 200 pixel okay and its background should be uh, blue okay and uh, color should be a uh, white okay and you just put inside click 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 me control s for save and now replace the browser so this is the default uh, box okay so when we just click this box so just copy the id go to script tag okay so document dot get element by id this one and uh, double quotation and the name of the id okay which is box one and just copy and paste it here and just uh, hit enter and put it dot okay and you can also put inside a variable whatever you just want to do that and uh, about the add event listener I want to add a click listener click listener and function okay if you don't know don't worry for that you just uh, make like this one okay and whatever code you just uh, make it here suppose we want to alert alert control s for save and when we just click it it says alert message okay so we want to change uh, that uh, its color so we wanted to put if and else condition is here else condition okay and uh, uh, means this is the box one okay we are working on the box one so box one this means box one okay current object means box one okay this dot style if you don't know uh, what is the style uh, property of css in javascript don't worry for that uh, means first you can put a element which is the box one okay and style and you can give any property of css like hei gst height okay background okay any property you can uh, give it opacity okay any property transition transform any property you can uh, give it here you are free to give okay so i want to give it a background if its a background is uh, equal to equal to a uh, blue okay so make it uh, this dot style dot uh, background okay background background i want uh, i want to do a red okay when it is uh, blue okay just copy it and when it is uh, red it's uh, again blue just copy it here and paste it here control s for save and refresh you can see it just click 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 but it's its content is not changed changed okay so for that we need to give uh, one more property which is this dot inner html html this means uh, we are uh, targeting 
this box one okay dot inner html okay chng change uh, chng change um, blue background back groend okay and semicolon just copy it here and just paste it here and change uh, to a red background just copy and paste it here control s and refresh okay change to blue background just click it here okay nothing happened what the problem is okay control okay mm, red okay didn't put it blue okay just copy and paste it here control s for save now refresh uh, change blue okay just put it uh, red it here and just copy paste it here and just copy and paste it here mm, okay control less for save so it says uh, change blue okay by default it is blue it is red and blue just copy and paste it here control s and refresh okay change red background just click it here change blue background click it here okay when you just click 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 change background okay and also it's content okay so it's not uh, smoothly uh, or happen so give it a transition property of uh, box one transition this one we want to a uh, background 0 0.4 second okay is in and delay time is 0 second control s for save and refresh you can see here uh, it's very smoothly it's happen okay if you have a problem to give uh, uh, to uh, give property a transition like this one okay so you can give 0 0.2 second as well control s for save and you can see here uh, okay it's look like uh, uh, we give a linear and is in and is out okay control s for save okay you can see here uh, it's, it's smoothly so just remember that you can increase your knowledge of uh, javascript just you remember this is document dot get element by id means we are targeting box one this is the box one id okay and we have a put a uh, box one to a uh, event listener which is event is click if you uh, put it mouse uh, okay and lots of properties here okay Mm, M O U S C mouse D O W N down control S for save and mouse down it's change 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 mouse down and change okay so lots of uh, events is here so just remember that how to add an event listener this is the element and we have a put a click listener okay and inside a click listener means we uh, when we inside a click listener uh, on the targeted box and targeted element which we can put we are free to put this this means we are targeting current object means a box one box one dot style and uh, you can put any property of css background opacity width height okay any uh, property you can put it here and equals to equals to blue because we know that the our uh, background is by default blue means this condition is true okay we know that the background is blue first time so it makes a red okay and if it is red it makes a blue okay and uh, inner html just remember that the element means box one dot inner html it changed this uh, content inside this box okay so this is the tutorial uh, to increase the knowledge of javascript okay and how to change this uh, background and content of the box okay so if you have a problem please write a comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and i will get you guys next time till then